On the first National Assessment of Technology and Engineering Skills, 8th grade girls scored higher on average than 8th grade boys. The NAEP test, also called the National Report Card, showed that girls outperformed boys in both technology and engineering. Still, the discrepancy between male and female students in STEM is huge. RIT, working to fix that gap, Selena Lewis spoke to some recent grads who are paving the way for other women. Selena? That's right. Well, Adam, well, a group of 40 female students just took third place in a national race car building competition and first place in project management. But they're also record breakers in a very different way. Take a look. So this is our first Formula SAE car. It's powered completely by electric motor and high-powered lithium-ion batteries. The car, along with the 40 people who built it, have one thing in common. They're all women. So the name is Phoebe, so um, for the competition you have to name the vehicle. This year we chose the name Phoebe. Phoebe and the women who built her are part of a growing female presence in a historically male-dominated field. At RIT, the male-female ratio in engineering is approaching 3 to 1. Still, it's an improvement from prior years and better than the national average. And we're seeing a steady improvement in our numbers. Nationally, there's about 19 percent. Ehrlich, the director of women's engineering, says the gap is due to lack of encouragement and lack of female role models, as well as largely accepted but false perceptions. Boys and girls believe that boys are better at math and science by the age of seven. For Mora, the choice was easy. So I begged my parents and they said, if you can find the money, you can buy your first car. So I mowed lawns and then I was able to afford a really beat up junker car and I fixed it up as my first car. Mora recognizes though the journey isn't as easy for other women. And aside from building cars, she tries to build a strong female STEM community as well. And you can actually see their confidence blossom throughout their time. So even in just the past year, we've had freshmen go from being shy and really closed off to building parts late night in the shop and getting them on the car for race day. Mora feels the best teams are made up of people from all backgrounds and all genders. But until the field catches up with the talent, having a place for women to feel comfortable is integral to their success. The reason we're all female is that so that we can get those those confidence levels built for the females so that when they do go out into the workforce, they're more apt to take charge in a group, to be the leader of a group, to go out there and really show their worth at a company. Mora is moving to Detroit to become an engineer for GM, but she plans to still mentor her younger peers at RIT to help change those ratios. Congrats to Mora and the entire team. Adam.